our Ned Rig fishing has gotten to be very popular. If you're new to the technique, you may want to pay attention to this. I'm gonna tell you how to get started fishing a Ned Rig. Now, I've been playing around with a Ned Rig for a long time. Early on, I thought that the technique was something that you fish like a shaky head or like a Texas rig where you throw it out and you know, when you drag the bait in, that's, that's not how you're gonna fish it. Uh, it is a finesse rig. This is a finesse spinning rod application. You're gonna have a, a spinning rod with a spinning reel and you're gonna have either straight fluorocarbon or straight mono if you're really, really basic and, and you don't wanna get too crazy. Then when you want to get a little more advanced, I really, really, really like the braid to fluorocarbon. I like the, the Sunline X Plasma 12 pound braid. You don't need to go really heavy. This is, again, this finesse technique. Uh, and then you're gonna have somewhere in the eight or 10 pound leader range. I like the Sunline Sniper in the eight pound uh, most of the time when I'm fishing a Ned Rig. And um, this is kind of the perfect rod, I think. This is a, a cash in icon. Um, seven foot one, it's called a micro jig uh, rod. It's the John Cruz series, uh, but that's kind of a good balance. Anything in that, you know, six, six to seven, two range, you don't really want too long of a rod. I mean, if the only thing you have is a seven, six or a seven, four, <clears throat> that, that would work okay. Uh, but you want more of a medium action. You don't want a medium heavy. You don't want a real stiff rod for fishing a Ned rig. And then you're, uh, you should be in business as far as the technique goes, you know, a, a 2,000, 3,000 size spinning reel is uh, is really what the doctor orders. And then you're gonna fish it on one of these ball heads or or a mushroom head like the like Z-Man makes. Um, but we're gonna get into the to the baits here in a second. But that's that's part of it. And then you're gonna have a uh, you know a short, stubby, little soft plastic as like missile baits Ned Bomb. It's designed specifically for Ned Ned rig fishing. Uh, and it is done so uh, because of uh, the way you work it and the way the action that you want. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna, if you wanna just get started and everything's, uh, you know, you really don't have anything to Ned Rig fish with, once you get the spinning rod, the spinning reel and the line taken care of, then all you've gotta do is pick up something like this. This is a Ned Rig kit from, from Missile Baits. Uh, the link will, be, link will be down below. But I'm gonna just kinda take it out, out of the package and show you everything that's in here. Now, first of all, what you're going to uh, pull out is a uh, instructions card. And as you can see, there's a couple paragraphs that explain to you how to rig this bait and basically how to fish it. On the other side is a diagram of exactly how to put, how to rig the bait and how to tie it on there in order to uh, to go out there and catch fish on the Ned rig. Um, so that's the that's the first thing is the instructions card very important very very important then i'm going to pull out all the soft plastics at one time uh, we've got one pack of ned bombs another pack of ned bombs in a different color uh, you got another pack of ned bombs you got to have some sort of green pumpkin color and then another pack of ned bombs and then another pack of ned bombs we're going to give you different there's going to have different colors in there. Uh, some of them are more brim colors, you know, you get some, something green pumpkin-y, something kind of crawfish-y, something with a little orange in it, and then, and then something with definitely more of a bait fish look to it. And then the last but not least is a quiver 4.5 when you want a little larger profile for your, for your Ned Rig. That, uh, is, it's basically just a longer version of that Ned Bomb is what that quiver 4.5 is. I'll show you the difference here real quick. This is the uh, this is the quiver 4.5 and this is the Ned Bomb. You can see it's a, a lot bigger profile. So if you get in a situation to where uh, you just want to have a little larger, a little larger bait, maybe help the fish find it a little easier, or you just want to try to weed through some of the small ones. If you get an area that's got got a lot of small fish, you can bump up up that a little bit, and you're still going to have good action. But we're not done. In the kit here, uh, you you can't have you can't go Ned rig fishing without. Ned Ned type heads. Uh, these are uh, what we call the Ned ball head. You give a, a pack of 1 16th ounce, 1 8th ounce, one, a 3 16 three ounce, and then a second pack of 1 8th ounce. And what that, what that does is it allows you to get 
different sink rates with your Ned Bomb. Pay attention. Sink rate is a huge key when you're fishing a Ned Rig. And last but not least, in, in the kit, you get a fancy uh, missile baits decal, and then uh, you, you have the carrying case here, uh, so you know exactly what it is, Ned Rig kit. Uh, so you get everything you know that you need to go Ned Rig fishing without the, the line and the rod and reel uh, in, in that kit. So once you, once you get your kit, you're gonna have your, and we showed you this in the instructions, but here's the, the Ned Ball head, and it's got that, that sickle style hook. Uh, once you get a fish hooked up on that, it, it, they just stay really pinned. So I'm gonna show you, try to show you how to rig the Ned Rig. I think it's key to have the tail flat as far, once you rig it on there, I, I like it flat. It helps the bait sail a little bit better. But what we're gonna do is just start it right down the middle of the bait, just like that. And you're gonna make sure that tail is, is, is flat. Then you're gonna slowly make sure you stay as much as you can in the middle part of that, of that bait. You know, all, you know, try to judge and make sure that your tail stays flat. And then you're gonna go just past about halfway on the body. And you wanna make that bait kinda sit as straight as possible when you get it on there. It's pretty close, it's pretty close. You want that bait as straight as possible from this angle and from this angle. Uh, you want it to, to get straight on there because what you're gonna do with this little head is when you, you throw your spinning rod out there, you throw, throw this out there as far as you can uh, and then you're gonna really kind of let it pendulum down to the bottom. You're not gonna, you're not gonna just let it go on a pure slack line. The bait will just kind of uh, helicopter and twirl. But what you wanna do is just kind of maintain, I call it contact. Your, bait, your line's gonna be a little bit slack. You're gonna let that, that bait go all the way down to the bottom. And then from there, you're gonna reel up all of your slack real slow, and you're just gonna lift your rod and let that bait pendulum back to you as it's falling and once that you're going to be ready to reel up your slack so you're going to kind of reel up your slack as that bait falls back to the bottom and then you'll watch your line when you see your line go limp that means it, it got back to the bottom and then you're just going to slowly lift it lift it up again and let it let it kind of pendulum back to you now the key with the the ned rig and why it's 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 so good it's got a really subtle action now this this goes for the uh yeah, you know, for the Z-Man, TRD, um, any any bait that you fish that's going to catch a lot of fish on a Ned Rig is going to have this this characteristic, is that when, you, when you're letting that bait sail back to you or glide back to you, you know, the tail on the on the Ned Bomb is really the key to help help that bait glide more. As you'll see, it, as, it, as it's coming back to you, it's going to glide left and right a little bit. That subtle action... It's finesse technique. Subtle action is what they really, really go after. Um, now, it took me a while to get the feel of this technique, and that's something that that Ned Rig fishermen are gonna do. Is they're gonna they're gonna have to get the feel of it. This is not gonna be like a drop shot to where you're you're throwing out there and then dragging it across the bottom, or a Texas rig where you're throwing it out, dragging it out the bottom. You're not gonna maintain bottom contact with with this technique. Most of the bites that you're gonna get are gonna be off of the bottom with the Ned Rig. Now the, you know, the 3 16 in my opinion, is, is on the heavy side. That's for when you're gonna be fishing a little bit deeper. Maybe you've got a little bit of current and, and maybe the fish want that faster glide. Maybe, the, you know, as you lift it up and let it glide back to you, it's gonna, it's gonna still wander a little bit but it's gonna be doing it at a faster rate. Sometimes that reaction is what they want. Bam, boom, bam. Sometimes that is the key. Sometimes you wanna to go to the eighth ounce. That's probably the, we give you two packs of those because that's probably the most common uh, size to fish. Throw that out, you know, lift it up, let it fall back down. You know, it, that's kind of a medium um, dissension in the water column. And then when you go to the one sixteenth ounce, that's gonna have a lot slower fall. It's gonna wander a lot more. It's gonna have more of that, that uh, you know, finesse gliding action that's gonna catch a lot of those fish. And I, I really, I, to be honest with you, I didn't understand the technique. 
and until I actually talk with Ned Cady, who is, you know, Mr. Ned Rig. He's the guy that, that really kind of came up with this whole technique and uh, popularized it. He is an outdoor writer, super, super nice guy. If you ever get to uh, read any of his stuff, uh, he can really help you get dialed in on the, the very nuances of this technique. And he's the one that told me, yeah, he fishes 10 pound test on his leader. And, and I asked him, I said, man, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you go down to six pound? And he said, no, I don't, I don't want the bait on the bottom. I want to try to keep it up. I want to try to keep it up and let that bait, you know, kind of wander through the water column. And then it really dawned on me that I was, I'd been doing it all wrong uh, this whole time. So there's the, there's the Ned Rig basics to hopefully, hopefully get you guys started on catching fish with the Ned Rig. And if you, if you need the tackle, you can get one of these uh, Ned Rig kits and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll get you squared away. So if you got any more questions, be sure to drop them down there in the comments and I look forward to bringing you some more information on the next video.